So in conclusion, to be able to determine the Riemann summation of a particular function, these are the steps that you need to follow in order to get it accurate. So first of all, you need to find the interval using this formula changing x equal to b minus a over n of which I told you that the b and then the a are the end points, the extreme end point, which is the last ordinate and then the first ordinate, right? And then the two. After you have determined the change in x, draw the graph. And then if you draw the graph, the three is that subdivide the interval. So the subinterval of equal the weight which is the change in x on the graph and then it will be like a b so the a b is your bigger sub interval and then the equal weight is the change in x so the the three uh here's four sorry here's four and here's five so four construct the rectangles on the sub interval so this one will give you the various rectangles inside right so if you use the a b as your bigger sub interval like this your bigger sub interval for example here's a and here's b so if you or you construct this one first right if you construct this one first the next one is to construct this rectangles inside by using the uh the width which is the change in x and when you are done with that determine the area of each rectangle by using f of x i of change in x and then when you are done you sum them up you sum them up to the end right and then you are good to go so thank you for watching and see you in my next video